Hello fellow scrappers, it's Mike from ScrappingGuy.com and I'm going to show you a really cool effect that you can easily create in Adobe Photoshop Element 7 or you can even do it in Adobe Photoshop uh, CS4 or even CS, uh, even the earlier versions and what that effect is, is kind of making a paint or a chalk look on something that looks like asphalt uh, out on the playground or on a a road or a basketball court or anything like that. And if you can see here, I kind of used a, um, created a layout, a digital scrapbooking layout, and I used that effect to make it look like there uh, are highway or regular road uh, striped lines on the asphalt. And what I'll do is I'm going to just show you that part of the, the layout and how to create that. It's real easy. And let me go ahead and get rid of this one. Don't need to save it. And here's the background, and you can actually download this from ScrappingGuy.com if you're a gold member. And what I did was one day my son and I went up to our local park and played some basketball, and I took my digital camera with me, and I just was doing some close-up shots of uh, trees and, and grass and things like that, knowing that I might be able to use them someday for a digital background paper. And this was a shot of the actual basketball court, uh, the asphalt on the basketball court. So I just did kind of like a close-up shot of that, and I brought it back and I imported it into Adobe Photoshop Elements 7. So what I want to do is I want to recreate that technique and of, of the lines for the road, and it's really, really simple to do. So what I need to do first, I'm going to go over to my, um, my shape or line tool, and I'm going to click line tool and I already have set up a pretty high um, width because we're going to need a pretty wide line that we're going to be creating. I have it set at 500. And what I want to do is I want to change the color to a typical road lines, uh, the center lines of a road, kind of like a, a goldish yellow. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to create a line and just pull it up right around there. And we bring it down a little bit so it covers the entire road, or actually from end to end. You can see it's a little bit small there, so let me create it a little bit bigger. And you drop this down a little bit. Actually, I'll just make it a little bit bigger. I'm kind of working on a small screen so I'm able to record it for you guys. There we go. So we'll go ahead and we'll leave that one there. And what I want to do now is I'm going to um, I'm going to create a second one, but I'm going to do all the work with the first one, so I don't have to do it again with the second one. And what I can easily do to create the uh, line looking like it's just painted on the asphalt is I'm going to go over to my layers palette, and for the blending mode, I'm going to set it as overlay. And now you can see that it just created a kind of like a see-through. It's it's overlaying this picture right on top of the uh, the asphalt and you can see the asphalt coming through so that looks pretty cool as it is but we want to touch it up a little bit more make it look a little more realistic so I'm going to go up to layer and I'm going to go down I'm going to simplify the layer and what that does is that makes it available to uh, to do even more stuff uh, with it such as you're going to see I'm going to be erasing some parts of it and, and different things so I can start doing that now just to show you I'm going to go to my eraser tool and one of the tools I'm going to have, I have different splatter type paints or brushes and you can download a bunch of brushes from a, a website called brusheasy.com and uh, I do have that as one of my uh, posts in my blog scrappingguy.com and what I have here is a splatter brush set so it doesn't matter which one I pick, I can pick just about any one I just need some kind of random, uh, random looking pattern to it so you can see that we have a, a brush I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm just going to erase a little bit parts of it actually it might be a little bit too much just little pieces of the of the paint as you can see here just to kind of give it that little worn effect we go ahead and change it to another different pattern brush just to make it a little bit different and there we go so now we have it look like it's the um, the paint is on there there's one more thing that I want to do to this and I'm going to brighten it up a little bit so I'm going to go to adjust lighting brightness contrast just add a little bit of brightness to it and a little bit of contrast to it there we 
we go. Okay, that looks pretty good there. So what I can do now, if you'd like to, depending on what you're working on, you can also adjust the opacity so it's not, you know, if you really want just barely a line showing up, you can do that too. We can adjust the opacity down if you'd like. And the other thing that I like to do is I'm going to go to the background and I'm actually going to lower that a little bit. So I'm going to go adjust lighting, brightness, and just drop that down just a little bit to make that yellow line stand out a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so I got my first line done, and what I want to do is I want to duplicate that because on the uh, the highways, and at least in the United States, a lot of the roads have the double yellow line. So I'm just going to go over to my Layers palette. I'm just going to drag that layer onto the Copy icon, which will give me two of them. So what I can now do is bring that down as my second line, and there we go. So there we have it. We now have, it looks like a road going across the corner, kind of a cool design. It looks like the uh, the regular road we have in the United States and um, that's it's easy as that. Now what you could do if you don't if you come up want to come up with a design you know that aren't these kind of lines or a road, let's say you want to create a background for your children that were uh, I don't know working with chalk uh, on uh, on the driveway or out on the street if they're drawing like chalk uh, designs and things. You go ahead and get rid of these two layers. What I can do is go over to my shape tool and let's just go ahead and pick a, a custom shape and I have a bunch of different ones that are loaded in here. Let's see, let's see, ah, just for fun let's go ahead and, and pick uh, let's say an apple and the color of an apple would be red but you know how chalk usually looks a little bit lighter than what it really is. Most chalks are kind of pastel looking. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create the apple. And there we have our apple sitting there. And once again, I'm going to go over to my Layers palette, click Overlay. And here we have our apple showing through the uh, background from behind it. Now, once again, I'm going to make it look a little more realistic. So I'm going to go up to Layer, simplify the layer. So now I can go ahead once again to my Eraser tool. Maybe erase a little bit out of there just to kind of give it a little bit of, you know, make it look a little realistic because uh, if you ever work with chalk on the pavement, you know that it's sometimes difficult to cover all of the little nooks and crannies of it. Oh, that was a little bit too much. Let me put that, get rid of that. And then once again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to adjust the lighting on this one, make it a little bit brighter. A little more contrast to it again. And there we go. And I can even adjust it from there if you want to angle it or whatever. Uh, and you can also do this with uh, with text. Let me go over to my text tool. And with text it would obviously work best if you have a nice thick, uh, thick kind of a font that you're using. I'm not sure what uh, font I have. Oh, there we go. Actually, I do have a font it's pretty uh, thick loaded in there. Say so how fun. And what I can do now is go to this layer again. Hit overlay. And it's a little more difficult to see, but we might be able to, you know, do some adjustments to that also. Let's go ahead and simplify that layer. And try to brighten that up a little bit, make it stand out, add a little more contrast to it. There we go. And I didn't need to save that as that particular color. I could have, uh, you know, chosen a blue or obviously any other kind of color, whatever was going to match your uh, your layout. But anyway, there you have it. It's a real simple, easy technique to uh, take a background and have it show through any kind of pattern or design that you want to create for your layout by simply changing the the um, the layers uh, blending mode to overlay rather than normal. So there you have it, and like I said, you can download this particular background on uh, scrappingguy.com in the gold members area, and uh, have fun. You, you can certainly use this idea for, like I said, if you have pictures of your kids playing hopscotch or, or drawing on the on the uh, uh, on the pavement, or even playing basketball or, or something like that that needs some kind of a cool, uh, realistic-looking background or, or background paper, uh, it, it works really well.